Uh, Saurav Goshal, thank you so much for taking time out to speak to me. Now, you had a very successful Commonwealth Games campaign where you won, you were the only Indian to win two squash medals, including one in singles, which was India's first singles medal at the Commonwealth Games at 35. What did, what did that medal mean to you, Saurav? Because we saw emotion from a man that we didn't, you know, is usually not very emotive on court. Um, I think that medal means a lot. Um, I think that medal is something that, you know, I've, I've wanted uh, for a very, very long time. Uh, yeah. Birmingham was my fourth Commonwealth Games. And, uh, you know, I've, I've tried really hard. And realistically speaking, um, I've had shots at, at it since 2014 um, in Glasgow. And, uh, you know, Glasgow, I lost the bronze medal playoff. Uh, Gold Coast was a bit of a disaster in terms of the singles because I lost in the second round. And that's probably one of the lowest points in my, in my career. Uh, but to come back and, and do it in Birmingham and uh, obviously beating James in the in the bronze medal playoff is, is a huge deal. Uh, this singles medal is probably gone right up to the top of my list in terms of, you know, my most memorable achievements. It probably shades the Asian Games team gold by a very, very small amount. Uh, but sort of just to ask you a little bit more about the singles medal, because, you know, we saw you, everybody actually saw that little moment you had with yourself when you went to the side of the court and you, you know, just like, I don't know. What, actually, what were you saying to yourself when you went there and, you know, we saw you tear up? I think it was a combination of a lot of factors. Um, I think one, uh, I was really disappointed the day before not to win uh, my semi-final. Uh, but then I knew I had to kind of pick myself up and, you know, I had one more, one more shot at a medal the next day. Um, playing James Wilstrop, who's a legend of the game, um, but also someone who I have learned from so much and trained with so much. Uh, you know, his his dad, who's unfortunately not with us anymore, but, you know, he's for a major part made me the professional player I am today. Um, also, the performance that I did manage to put in on that day, uh, I think it was probably the best performance uh, for me in the entire games on, the, on, that, on that day. Um, and yeah, I mean, you know, the the significance of the medal, the history of the medal now with it being India's first. I think everything put together was just very, very overwhelming. And yeah, like normally I am pretty controlled and, and reserved. Uh, but I think uh, just looking back at the team and then walking towards the front of the court, I think it, it just got the better of me for those for those few moments. And, and yeah, the, the emotions came out. Over the last many years that you've competed, you know, there have been some games, you know, where you've lost a really close match or there's been heartbreaking defeats sometimes. And, you know, how how important has it been to have, you know, your mental trainer on board? Has has that sort of helped you transition, sort of change your game a little bit, evolve your game a little bit? Look, I think uh, in terms of working uh, with my, with my uh, mental trainer, I've started that over the last year. Um, I think uh, Gaiti has been a great addition to the team. Um, so, I think... Uh, that has definitely helped. Um, I think it was very important for me to be able to speak to someone after I lost to Paul in the semis to be able to like kind of recalibrate my head a little bit to be able to focus on the things that I needed to do uh, to play James. Um, and I think Gaiti was very helpful on that front. And um, it's something that, um, you know, like I've tried before, but I think at this point in time, it's it's working well for me. And I'm, and I'm happy that, uh, you know, i I added her to my team a year back, and uh, it's been a it's been a fruitful relationship uh, up to now. Um, you know, we've talked about that singles medal, but in doubles also that bronze with Deepika when she posted, you know, she posted a picture and she talked about how the journey she's had and about how it meant so much to her also to be standing on that podium with you. She's of course your sister in law, so was it also amazing in a way to you know for both of you to be standing together? Did it mean a little bit extra? Oh, for sure. You know, like Deepika is someone that. In her own right, she's a fantastic squash player. Uh, so it makes life a lot easier for me when I'm on court with her. Um, I think we uh, we obviously love each other a lot in terms of you know the personal space that we share together. Um, I think both of us, uh, you know, obviously winning the medal is is something that you know makes us feel very happy about it, and to do it together, to stand on the podium, it is a memory that we will cherish together and our families together for a very very long time. That goal still eludes us and. And like literally after the thing, she's like, Saurav, you have to come back next time so that we can win the gold. I'm like, hold your horses, man. We've, we've got a while to go. We'll see how that goes. Of course, apart from the big medalists, we also had a young star in squash this time around, Anahat Singh. All of 14 
won her first singles match as well. You know, there's about what 21 years <laughs> between you and her. But you know, I'm sure she must have spoken to you. What were the conversations you both had during training and you know just competing at the Commonwealth Games? I think Anahat is is definitely someone with a great deal of potential. Uh, is the first time I've actually interacted with her. Uh, through, you know, through the camps before the Commonwealth Games and obviously at the Commonwealth Games. Uh, I think two things that strike me uh, about her is she believes in herself very, very strongly and has, you know, like really strong, like mental belief in what she can or cannot do. Uh, also physically, she might not look very strong, which she probably isn't, but she has a big engine on her and she gets a lot of balls back, which will again take her a long way. Uh, I really hope that she's guided you know, well um, through the years and, and you know, she can go on to, to really, really take Indian squash to, to the next level. Um, hopefully, uh, you know, she will she will stick with the sport uh, and, uh, you know, um, accept the ups and downs of sport uh, as they come and, and come back stronger. And um, if at any point in time she knows if she needs anything from me in terms of advice or, you know, access to certain things, uh, she has my number. She knows when to call me, and and I think we have a, a good enough relationship now uh, for her to reach out to me whenever she does want to. Uh, sort of um, squash is not part of the top scheme. You, Joshna, Deepika, you haven't been funded. You know, you don't get the funding under top scheme as much as you know some other sports like wrestling or boxing does. I think even in their uh, pamphlet, they've said that they've you know assisted you in training you've been at national camps. I think April onwards. But how hard is it to sustain and you know be part and play a sport where there's not much government funding coming in, uh, you know, when a big tournament is not on? See, look, at the end of the day, uh, I'm very grateful for all the support that I do get from the government. Of course, being on the top scheme would be um, um, a much needed and added bonus uh, for us. Uh, and it makes things a lot easier. It helps us uh, get access to a lot more things. And, uh, you know, I really hope that after the Commonwealth Games, uh, the government will will relook at that and see if they can they can add us uh, onto the scheme. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, I think going back to what I said, you know, this is a game that I love. Uh, this is something that I love doing. Uh, if I was in it for the money, then I don't think I would be playing squash today. Um, it's it's something that you know makes me the happiest person that I am. It has made me the person I am. Uh, so I'm going to try and work as hard as I possibly can with whatever resources that I have personally, uh, that, you know, my personal sponsors kind of have been generous enough to give me and whatever the government does give me, uh, you know, I'm grateful for that and I'm going to use whatever I have uh, to be the best player I can possibly be. Okay, thank you, Saurav. Thank you so much for taking time out for us and maybe we'll see you at the next Commonwealth Games as well. Thank you so much.